All right, so it looks like uh, Mike did win the coin flip here. So this is a, you know, it's interesting. Right now, I feel like the lagging end is going the other way. Um, yeah, so I, I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't be surprised if Mike got a little cute here and passed yeah. one of these short weights just to see if he could get the hammer going back the other way. I don't think he wants to lag against three weights and no. get that cute, but I mean, I think he wants to. He might pass this third one yeah. if he sticks it though. I, I think say. so. But he doesn't. So and he's he's gonna put it somewhere he thinks Kelly might have to shoot easy and stick. And so there's he that. Knows, he knows Kelly doesn't want to go down that right real hard. Right. So he's making it where it's more possibility of a stick for Kelly going across the board easier speed. Yeah, he's going to go down Sometimes that rail. And it's a pretty flat rail. I think he's pretty comfortable with it. And he missed it almost. Yeah. You know, got That's it. That's a good, good shot there. Dude, um, that just goes I, to show you how good these players are and how good they quick pick up a board, you know. Right, so rail that's been giving him trouble earlier in the match, and he's he's made a couple good shots on it now. I just think with as with as well as Mike had lagged going the other way, um, that he he wants to. I think if you can find a way to get around that short weight and have him hit and go, and they, you're lagging against one there, and you can wholeheartedly lag for something deep, knowing that. If you go off, you get the hammer going Where back the way it. that you really want it. Yeah. Um, I think, I mean, 100% of the time, if I want to lag that way and I've been lagging that way better, I'm, I'm not hitting that short way. Never, yeah, me too. I agree. And with that said, if I don't have the hammer and I want to lag that way, then I'm not throwing a short weight, no. you know, because I don't want to flip it going that way. So... We'll see. I would, I'd imagine Kelly, nothing on the board. He wants to practice his lag. <laughs> wants to find the end of the board. Just go ahead and try to stick this weight. Like I said, the more weight that you stick, the more control you get of frames. Um, so you'll see Kelly, as long as it's deep ones, deuces, uh, these guys are going to try to stick a lot of those weights, have the other player chasing them. See, so Kelly, Kelly opts to go ahead and throw a short weight to protect his hammer. Now there's, again, if you if you really want the hammer going the other way, you might pass uh, that, you might way, pass that way, way, offer him to, yeah. you know, there's, so it looks like right now, they don't really either care. one cares which way, yeah. which way they're lagging. It's a pretty big lag here for Kelly to get, get the momentum coming back in his favor, get a lead. Looks like he threw it. And it did it too hard. It's a big mistake there. <laughs> you gotta think Mike is feeling very comfortable in this match, especially how the first game went and how it started mm -hmm. and how the second game started down four nothing. Uh, to completely turn that game around and win big. He's gotta be feeling good right now after Kelly goes off on a clean board. I would think he's going to play pretty straight up, unlike he usually plays here, and just try to lag another two or three and just keep the lead. Yeah, with with that said, though, I think if, if Kelly were to give him something that he thought he could get in there with the way that this momentum's going for Mike, Mike's going to try to ride that momentum and go towards his strengths, make Kelly play his game. If, like we said earlier, if I agree, if, if the I game, think it would have to be a, a, yeah. a, a very good nut go around or something, you know, that Mike really loved. The, the this like could be a mistake here. Like you said earlier in the uh, earlier, the closer these games are, advantage Kelly. Advantage Kelly. Yeah. So Mike wants to try to get out to a big lead. 
I mean, they both would love to get out to a big lead, but Obviously. Mike's not. I mean, Kelly's not going to try to push to try to get out to a big lead. He just wants to keep it tight. Pretty good cover. That's pretty good cover, especially knowing that that side's pretty flat yeah, over I there. I mean, he's going to have to shoot a combo. Looks like he got it. Great shot. I think Kelly's just going to let him lag. Mm -hmm. I mean, I don't think it's time to press this nah. early. Might try to drive it up. See, most people here are just going to make sure they score, but I think Mike will really push for it. I don't think you're trying to score one here. I'm never <laughs> trying to score one here, no. So. <laughs> but he did. I mean, to me, I want to I want to like a two or three there yeah, and separ separate myself from, from my opponent. Um, you know, basically, as bad as it started out for Kelly, it's still just a two-nothing game. Sure. And, and one lag away from a lead. So, all in all, he, he's probably pretty happy with it. Looks like the lag spot is right there, though. Kelly's having a pretty hard time finding the end of the board right now. I mean, he's trying to practice his lag, get some twos in there. Protect his hammer short and lag. Mike's just going to try to hit and go here. It's a free lag. It's a big shot here for Kelly. Pretty good. A little stop. hot, man. Stop. Gosh. Man. Looks like they're just running. Yeah. Over here on 410, uh, Josh had a 13 8. I think it was 13 7 or 8 at one point. Looks like Obi, Obi just stole 3 to get it to 13 11. Put a little pressure on, on Josh here. Still trying to get a feel for the end. The more, and I tell this to a lot of amateur players, is as many times as you can practice getting deuces and threes in there throughout the game, do it. You know, get a really, really good feel for the end of the board. Because um, ultimately, what this game comes down to is is lacking. Uh, yeah, and exactly. As you're shooting the finesse shot to find the end of the board, you're also figuring out ways to stick weights, yep. you know, what lanes to take, what lines. It's like Obi had a chance to put one in there on Josh and ran into it. Here comes Kelly. Short. Short. Mike's definitely going to put try to put some pressure on him here. So right He's now, already put that in there a couple times this match. Yeah. So he knows his shot. 
He doesn't want to go off, but he'd love to get a deep deuce buried behind that red weight. Looks pretty good. So it's got to go a little bit. So it looks, that looks perfect. Perfect count. Mike can go. Is he going to shoot a triple? Looks here? like he's trying to shoot a triple. Stayed yeah. inside of it. Uh -oh. and this momentum has just completely gone into Mike's favor yeah. this game. So the. Kelly's got to really feel like he's letting one get away here. The um, over on board 10, Josh just uh, close won the third game, yeah. I need to give a shout out in between frames to uh, a buddy of mine, Dave Dickerson Jr., uh, the only person that runs almost as bad as me, broke out of the slump yesterday. Um, he's a huge Creighton Blue Jay fan. And uh, has guaranteed me they make the Final Four this year. For any of you, you sports gamblers out there, there's your lock, lock of the evening. Six oh, See, Kelly, Kelly needs to just claw his way back in here and just hope Mike sticks one weight. But Mike's really just going to be trying to blast and keep that lead. Make Kelly have to pop a couple big threes and fours to get back in it. Kelly can Kelly can lag a deuce here, get his uh, get his head straight a little bit. I think mm, Mike, does, see. Mike don't care if he sticks that weight there. No. Um, but anything shorter than that, he's going to be trying to hit and go. At this point, even if he lets. Kelly stick for two with this hammer, he's still really not going to be that upset. No. And I wouldn't be a surprised if he left a weight on here, knowing he likes to lag this in so well. Uh, looks like he's just throwing it off. But it wouldn't have surprised me to see a deep one down there, light deuce. See if Kelly can lag himself something here and get back in this game. Kelly's never really out of a game, man. He's a grinder. Looks like he let up a little bit. It might float on in there. Pretty good. That kind of pretty good deuce. He drug a little bit at the end there. That's a big. That's big for Kelly right there. That's big for confidence, you know. Six two. At the. Yeah, he's got to be a lot happier after the way this game started. At the. At the end of the day, Kelly Kelly would just love to go lag for lag from here from 6-2 and just grind and grind and grind this game out. You know, the player that gets a big lead, a 6-2, 7-2 lead. Tends to get conservative. Yeah, start yeah. to get complacent. The other player's trying to claw back all of a sudden. You lag a couple ones up 6-2 six, six and they pop a couple twos on you and all of a sudden, you know, it's 6-8, six, 6-7. Six, yeah, and then that and pressure gets to you. And it's coin flip from there, in my opinion. So. Yeah, Mike definitely wants to make sure he scores here this round. And and Kelly knows that. You know, Kelly knows yeah. that he just wants to move the scoreboard. If Mike lags a one here, he's right in the Kelly's, game. Yeah, yeah. Kelly right in the game. I would think he's just going to blast this off mm -hmm. and let Mike take a one, or hope he does. You know, Mike's a different kind of animal. He's kind of hard to not go for it every time, yeah. kind of like me. But I mean, in this situation, I mean, you can't throw it off. But I think, you know, players, players like you, Billy, um, that have a ton of confidence with – a ton of confidence with your lag. Um, you're like I said, you're trying to put them away. You yeah. know, you like yeah. a two, you like a two or three here. Yeah, and, and game over. It's deflation. You know, there's you like a one. You start to give them life. Looks yeah. good. Looks pretty good. That's a that's a, that's big a lag. huge lag right there. Yeah. Like I said, you you like a one there, and you you start to give that other player a little hope. 
Not that. Well, like I said, or you were saying, if he takes a one there and Kelly turns around and pops a three or four, I mean, it's it's back to a coin flip situation. Yep. There, you kind of get a stranglehold on the game here. Yep. So Kelly's going to try to set something up here. Hope to draw a stick out of Mike. You're going to see Mike shooting pretty firm at this, I would think. Yeah. Again, I wouldn't be surprised if at the end of the frame, Mike let him lag against a one or a deep or a light deuce here, you know? Still, yeah. still putting pressure on their opponent, and not to just give them that free shot at a three or four. Yeah. I know he would definitely throw a light deuce or try to on me in I this mean, situation. And you know that because you know even that if they stick it, you still have a four-point lead, and it, you're still in command of the game. You and know? you know whether whether there's a one on the board or nothing on the board, Kelly's pushing for a two exactly. or three. So it doesn't matter it's not like whether you have a weight on the board. It's not like early in the game when it's two to two and you're giving them a free lag against one. Right. At this point, he's going for it no matter what. Right. So Mike doesn't care. I, I would be I would be shocked if Mike doesn't try to stick this way. Yeah, I'd agree. If he gets a little roll at all, it'll be a light deuce. Looks like it might. Right, he might hit it too straight. Yeah, you roll it over to the left. Can't see. We need to see the above uh, view there. Looks like a deuce, actually. It's close. So it's exactly what Mike was trying to do, yeah, like I said. It's a deuce. And Mike has no problem with that. Even if Mike, I mean, he has to roll it to get a deuce. If he does, he's still up four with the hammer. And there's a lot of times where if I'm not confident sticking and rolling this shot, I may just lag. be lagging, yeah. you know, if I... It looks like he threw it to the rep too much yeah. better, doesn't it? So I came back in there pretty good. Oh, and it stays on. But like I said, just for a one, that was a that was a perfect frame for Mike. Yep. Like I said, especially, especially after lagging a deuce going back the other way, uh, or Kelly just lagged a deuce going that way, if you feel confident lagging and you know that you got to hit a great shot at stick and roll that way, I mean, yeah, you make them do it every time. Yeah. Sure. And and like you said, me, me, myself, in that situation right there, I'm probably 60, 40 lagging. Yeah. Myself. I'm with you. I mean. That's a big stick right there. So I'd imagine Kelly's going to backdoor this. And what I mean by that is instead of going Across around it, it on the other side, uh, trying to the skim rail. the weight. Right. He's actually going across. I think it just hangs out there. Yeah. I don't think it really, I don't think there's much action over there. Man, a little more than I thought. I think if he gets that deeper, that, that may get in there. Yeah, much harder shot though. I think if Mike picks this out, you'll see a left finger shot down the left rail and try to come in the, the outside of the weight. That or, you know, he just threw a finger shot to that rail. He may open up a span and try to get it into that rail a little quicker. And, and like you said, if that would have went another six inches, it might have came in there and been buried. I can't believe he's shooting that easy at that. See, that's sometimes where Mike gets himself in trouble. He's so good and talented that, you know, right there, he needs to just get that weight off. Yep. He doesn't need to stick that way. He's just giving Kelly life here. Like Kelly let up on it. Maybe he's just trying to cover it. Kelly may feel like, you know, as long as he's lagging, lagging with uh, two on the board, if he, doesn't, pressure on if he doesn't make this combo, is this, a, this is the third week, yeah. correct? If he doesn't make this combo, I think you'll see a bump from Kelly. I think you're still going to see a bump from Kelly. I don't think Kelly's ever shooting at that red weight. I think no. you're bump that up to a two or three and you know he's right back in the game if he might can't get it but that's like one 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 little mental error there like Mike trying to be too cute and stick that weight down the rail you know that's a tough shot for anybody not just one of the best players in the world
There's Looks a bump like pretty we good talking about. Let's see how hard you get to it. It's a great it shot. In there too, too. That's a great and shot. And Mike is going to be forced to shoot a combo. I can't. I can't imagine him going left cross here, but especially with as hard as it pulls that way. I can see a left span, maybe. No, he went left cross. It's going to break too much on him, I think. Well, he makes a great shot. It's a great shot. I know, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going right hand right there. <laughs> but that was a great shot. You see Mike just throw this weight off the board, play clean. Yeah, he didn't, he didn't want any weights on the board here until the last one, if, it, if any. Yeah. I would think Mike will try to stick any last weight here as long as it's not a three as well. Just to take away a four possibility, you know, a four, three or four lag. You need a shout out. He's putting him down there pretty deep. I, mean, and I think Mike, I don't see why Mike wouldn't just stick this. Well, yeah. and I think if you have, you have a player who doesn't like to throw extremely firm, um, I think a great trap weight is a two or a three, you know, because a lot of players are going to try to stick that weight, and now you're actually now creating you action. action yeah. You know what I mean? Um, I think I give you have somebody that's really conservative at shooting really hard at weights. They definitely don't want to hop a two or a three. They're going to stick a two or three more time. Now you can start to create action that way. You get you freeze up on their weight here. You may see a, a yeah, double stick, and you end up having two work in here. He's definitely trying to get right up on this weight or even bump it a little bit. Just made a little mistake there. He needed to he needed to bump that weight up a little bit, or just get right on top of it. This is the same white, same white Mike already stuck on him once, and he'd love to stick it again, even roll it to a two. So he, he would still be happy. He's fine with Kelly shooting at a deuce with the hammer, and didn't roll in, but he's still fine with that. Yep. He'll take eleven because Kelly has to be going for a three or four here, no matter what. So. That one being on the board really means nothing to Mike. He'll take 11-3 all day. I gotta go? Yeah, looks like it. Can't go anywhere. It's been a huge momentum shift throughout this match, man. I mean, just starting right there at, you know, 4-3 last game. Started at 4-0, Mike got back into it. 4-3, just kind of felt the momentum shift, you know. Couple of lag offs in a row by Kelly. Couple of good lags by Mike. Couple of nice shots by Mike. Just You could just feel it, the, the mom, momentum shift straight to Mike. And really hasn't shifted back at all. There you go, Mike. <laughs> Sticking away that most of us would try to hit as hard as we could when we were up 11 to 3. He does know the cameras are on, though. Yeah, he so. does know the cameras on, and then he does act like he tried <laughs> to hit and go there after throwing lag speed at it. <laughs> so he wants to make a few. He wants to keep you entertained. Yeah, he wants to make a few TV shots. I don't blame him. I mean, He's in the spotlight. It's only one time a year. Yeah, this is the world's biggest stage. Why not make some? Why not make it harder on yourself to win? <laughs> you know. He's gave Kelly some options here. I mean, that, we all know that it swings back in there if he can get it down here. And Mike can probably stick that fairly easy, but like I said, why even give him the opportunity? You know, eight point lead, his hammer. Mike makes a mistake here and he lags a three, you know, it's a ball game again. But I think Mike just knows that shot so good. That it's a great shot. 
I guess Kelly just gonna lag, huh? What weight is this? Isn't that this is Kelly's third weight? Mike's sitting down, so I would think it's the hammer. I thought Mike stuck the first weight out the gate. Let's see what he's doing. It might it might be his third weight. I don't think Kelly can expect this to be coming back into Barry if he's shooting left cross, so it must be his hammer, I would think. Yeah, he's walking down here, so I think he was just lagging there. Comes up a little short. 13-3. Complete control. Mike's just gonna throw his weight off and just hold him to lag. We think. It is Mike Taylor, though, so uh, go around right at the logo is a possibility. But Ultra conservative play right there by Mike Taylor. <laughs> Very close to the best. Let's see how hard he shoots at this. Yeah. MZ four speed. <laughs> Kelly just hoping for a stick here. Mike will probably stick that on purpose. Yeah, he wants to stick this way. Kelly needs a big one. <coughs> Looks a little light again, doesn't it? It's 14-3. This is this match is just goes to show you two great players that how one one or few small mistakes and a momentum shift can switch so quick. Where like for a game and a quarter, Kelly was in complete control of this match all the way, and it just totally switched sides. You know, I mean, you said it earlier as well. You've probably won more games, more matches, losing the first one, coming back and winning the second two than you have winning two straight, you know? Yeah, I mean, like you were saying, Mike got the opportunity to practice so many shots mm -hmm. in that first game because he had already kind of conceded a loss, even though he was trying to get back into the game and did get back into the game. Yeah. But he got to check so many more shots. Yeah, if you, you put, if you put Mike away early that first game, he doesn't go into that second game with as much confidence as he did go into it. See Michael just put a one up here. Get game on board. Yeah, it seems like he's throwing those easy. Over on board 12, um, Bob Crumb did win the first game over here and has a 5-1 lead right now. All the other games on the other boards are in their first games. I'm not sure where they're at.
Like Warren's just lagging against two. Warren does not ever not go for the end. I can see a little bit of this. I think I Mike's going to try to stick this way yeah. too hard. I think so. Don't do it too hard. May have missed it. Like a mouth, man. Kelly's going to try to throw a deuce here. It should be pretty easy for Mike to have a... That's a match. That is a ball game. So Mike Taylor wins the last game, 15-4. Um, <laughs> if I'm not mistaken, um, I think it's going to be you and I in the next featured match. Uh, on the same board, do you I think? I think so. Well, we'll see. I believe man, that's I what. Man, I wish I, I, wish I uh, really paid attention <laughs> to what this board did. Yeah. More. 